All right, so we're setting it a uh, coyote snare out here. Yeah, We've got the deer sickle, basically a frozen block of deer. Yeah, it's a bunch of deer guts and trimmings and hair and yeah. that one too. Yeah. What we used to do in the ducks is if we wanted to keep them around for a little bit, we put them into like a five gallon drum in pieces, like the scraps, and then put water and freeze it in and make, make coyote sickles. So we're setting up the coyote snares now. What are we using here? Uh, these are wolf masters. But I'm mean, just using them for cat. I bought them because that way I can do both of them. I'm gonna set it up on this trail okay. here. All right. Show them how you set it up. So that's a Wolfmaster Power Ram. And then uh, you've got two different sizes of the snares here, right? Those are all the same ones there, but those are all the big ones. Those ones are made a little longer for the Wolfmaster. Oh, okay. So he's just anchoring the Power Ram there to that tree. He's gonna set it up right over here. So how do these Power Rams work? By to basically, it's a giant spring, and you have your cable. Which your cable is not like a regular common snare where it has a lock, it doesn't have a lock, it's made to go back and forth if needed. And there's a groove that this fits into that holds it in place. Yeah, so you put it in. Most of them have a lap link, this one got replaced with a a quick link if you that through there pull that guy up and just heads up just in case because these things want to go you just let it go on that washer okay and that safety. holds that in place and that's you yeah. remove the safety off and off of it now right yeah, safety is off. So it's just being held in place by that washer. There and this is the snare right there. So I'm gonna twist it to make it. So in terms of uh, height off the ground. For Kaius, you want to like a 16 inch loop, 16 inches off the ground. Let's move these. I don't know what I'm for. And they with cables and everything, everything likes to get stuck together. And there it is. So I know a lot of guys go like bottom their knee-ish. Yeah. I mean there's not that much snow right now. What I like to usually do is grab a tree branch like this. Stick it in like that. Kind of funnel them in. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fence them too much because then they, they don't like that as much either. Something to keep their head up. And sometimes they have this fine tweak little things about it. But that should. And that's a set. That's a coyote that's set. It. And uh, by the way, this is a baited set. So we actually have we actually have the bait already over there so that's where we uh, left the bait and we're setting how many snares are you setting three I'm gonna set four here four so we're setting four snares around the area where the bait is and we made this trail for them to hopefully walk on this trail right yeah Make it a little so what we did is we pulled this this sled back and forth over here, kind of give the coyotes a little pack down snow. They're lazy, so they'll take the easy route when they can. Rather than walking through the deep snow, they'll walk through the packed snow, which we've made here with a sled. And this is where we are setting the, uh, the stairs.
And we got a nice natural pinch point right here. It's a good spot for it. They'll come from across there, across the road, right through here, into the bait, back there. I've had it once where, when I was, like these are all snares that I made. But yep. Somehow the crimp there didn't get all the way down. And I was putting pressure on it, I let it go and boom, you got past my face. Kind of was a good thing though, because before that I was setting them pretty stupidly. Like it wasn't... You weren't being careful no, with it? No, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, wasn't respecting it as they say. I was just like, yeah, it's just a giant spring. Yeah, and I uh, I caught my thumb in a Bilal 330. That wasn't mm. fun. Yeah, no, I'm wild. Especially I when you're solo out there. I haven't done that yet. I've got myself in 120s, but never a... Luckily for yet. me, it was only one spring that went. Oh, the other one was safety. Yeah. Well, that... they were both safety, and one kind of slipped oh, one off. Slipped yeah. Off. I had it once where my cousin was setting it, and he was holding it like this to go set it, and it went off, and it got his jacket. <sighs> like this, didn't touch him, but it got Ooh. his jacket just underneath him. Yeah. They don't like it when you walk right just to it. Mm-hmm. And turn around and walk back. It just goes, yeah, it just goes, yeah, and then make sure the washer's on that side. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter until you get the lap link. You just put the lap link in first and then. So that's when you'll have to probably compress it a little bit to get the, oh no, there you go. There are safeties for these, but uh, I have one somewhere. Yeah, lay it, you can yeah, basically lean against the tree if you need to. Yeah, right there. And then I'd almost heighten it, like uh, just, just the tip, just grab the tip and twist it up, but watch the trigger, make sure that the cable closer to the trigger doesn't go. Yeah, somewhere around there. I'm gonna have to build some snow up around it and I move it a little bit closer. There. If you can dig out where they're gonna walk. Put this down here so they keep their head up right. Yep. There you go. That's it. That's one set. Well, that is my first ever coyote set. <laughs> coyote snare. That's the first time I've set one of these things. Yeah, there's a lot of... For years I always tried doing the footholds and then I realized yeah. that these things you don't have to boil. Like you can handle the snare with your hands. You can do and, all that stuff. And footholds, you got to check it every... Three, every 72 hours. Yeah. A couple days. Yeah. Uh, just, I can only go out on the weekend, so that's not going to work. Yeah, but, I, I got a yeah, bunch it's, of... Yeah, it's actually... Like I was... I thought it was a more complicated than that. Yeah, it's, it's actually really simple to set up. So yeah, it's just a nice. Doesn't take long once you get you get onto them. Yeah. So basically, we'll, we've got the bait right there, and we're setting the snares pretty much all around the bait in these little trails that we've created with the sled from earlier. So we just pack down a few trails. Coyotes will most likely take, you know, the trails that we've created because the snow is all packed down from the sled, and uh, well, coyotes are just like pretty much any animal, they're lazy, so they'll take the easy route whenever they can. So rather than walking through the deep snow to get to the bait, they'll see, okay, there's some packed down snow over here and a trail leading right to the bait. And then uh, they'll, they'll most likely take that trail. And that trail is where we're setting the, uh, the snares up. So yeah, pretty sweet. Mm -hmm.